Take two of these and call me in the morning. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Ratchet! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We got Ratchet looking all ratchety. His name is Ratchet Transformers. On the side of the box we have, hey look, it's Ratchet. On the other side of the box we have Ratchet. He is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class Class and a class and a oh, oh, top Transformers Bumblebee on the bottom where it's things on the back of the box. Obligatory product shots, things and stuff, stuff and things. And you have a bio in multiple languages if you want to read it. Hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Ratchet as he appeared in the Bumblebee movie. And here he is in his robot mode. I do quite dig his design. He did not skip chest day, that's for sure. But overall, I do quite like his design. Very ratchety. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his belly, at his noggin. There's the noggin. You see, it's a ratchety head sculpt. Got the red crest there. It's nice silver for the face. He does have light piping. So his eyes will glow. A nice blue there. We get the light behind it. You can see the trans clear and chest there. A uh, nice blue. Love the shade of blue they used. Really pops. Autobot symbol right there on the chest. Got some red there on the shoulders. Some nice molded detail. Got some red in there. Nice glossy red. And moving down the body. Got the wheels. He does end up with like six wheels. I wish these wheels kind of pushed up a little bit to kind of, because it kind of kills the illusion here. He got four wheels on his legs and he got two wheels kind of poking out there, but it's fine. But you got some gray there, some gray in the forearms as well. His big old fight. And moving up the back. It's a pretty clean transformation. You get some nice detail back here as well on those back panels. So overall looks pretty good in my opinion now articulation wise uh, the head is on a ball joint so you get some nice wiggly waggly you can look up a little bit look down a lot more head can do a full 360 arms can do a full 360 can move in and out you have bicep rotation you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow um, you just have inward movement at the wrist due to transformation, but no rotation. Uh, you have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You have thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet, they can move up slightly. can move down a lot due to transformation. And you have some ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get... The blaster here, which has some nice detail. No paint, but some nice detail. Um, you can store this if you want. On his back, there's a slot right here for this tab right here. You can take it and just kind of sling it across his back like so. Things you can do if you want to do it. But of course, he can wield his weapon. It's a medical weapon. Medical for pew pewing, bang banging, pew pewing, and bang banging with health. Yeah, yeah. And no, it is not bluish compatible, unfortunately. Not bluish compatible, but it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. None of it's okay. It's okay. But there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. With Wheeljack and Braun. And for anybody who was asking, yes, you can put the drill in the barrel of Braun's gun. In case anybody's wondering. Well, there were some people wondering. There's your answer. But there he is with Wheeljack and Braun. With Prime. And lastly, but not leastly, with Soundwave and Starscream. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take the hands and just flip them in. And flip them in. 
like so. Uh, we're going to rotate the legs at the thigh, 180, and then flip the foot in, like that. Second burst is like the first. Just rotate that leg around and flip the foot in. There you go. We can leave that for now. Come back here, open up these panels. They just tab in right in here. Uh, once we have done that, we want to take this panel here and just bring that up over his head. And I love how they cut it out specifically to the shape of his head. That's precious. That's just adorable. But anyway, bring that panel up like that. And then you basically just want to undo all of this. This is on multiple hinges here. So just bring that out like that. Take this whole section here and just bring that back and then just unfold this section right here. So you got it all looking like that. So once you've done that, you want to take the legs, you just want to raise them up and take this whole assembly here and rotate it up like so. Once you've done that, you just bend the knees like that, and then you're going to take these wheel sections here and just rotate them down, rotate it down. And once you've done that, you want to bring this section over and you have tabs that will go into these slots right here. So just line that up, plug it in, plug it in, and there you go. Then you can take this panel and that will tab in right up in here, like that. So we basically got the front of the vehicle all done. So now for the back here, you wanna make sure the arms are straight out like that. So you're gonna bring these sections all the way down and then bring these panels out for now. Like so, and you can have flying ambulance mode. I don't know. There you go. Fan mode. Fan mode right there. I don't know. But anyway, once you've done that, you're going to take this back section here, and you're going to rotate it up at this inch, and you have these two tabs, which will go into the uh, these bottom notches right here, the bottom notch. So just swing that up, and that will tab in on either side. Once you've done that, just close these panels up like that. And the last thing to do is bring the forearms down. You got little tabs that will go into these slots right in here. So just drop those down. That will tab right in. Drop it down. Tab it right in. Get all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Ratchet in his alt mode. Good spin. Good spin there, Ratchet. And I guess this is supposed to be like a Cybertronian ambulance. Sure little armored ambulance. Why not? Why not? But I like it. I like the way it compacts up. It actually is quite a clever transformation. I do quite dig it. But let's get in close here so we can see all the details. All this we've already seen. That's his chest, but still looks nice. Got the wheels, got the white rims going on there. Got some red there on the sides. Oh no. Like I said, it compacts up very nicely. You got some nice detail in the back. None of it picked out in paint, but still some nice detail. Going on back there. There at the top. There is the bottom. He does kind of have some very more hair. He's kind of top of his head there, but yeah, not too bad. But he does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the bumble and the jumper. With Jackie, back here, with Jackie and Bronny. And with Prime. So there you go. Now, as far as weapon storage goes in vehicle mode, you simply just have a port right up top here. You take the gun, plug it in, plug it in. And there you go. Now he can blast you with health and wellness because he's a doctor. It's for medicinal purposes. Purely for medicinal purposes. And the last thing to talk about is the base of displayage that resides within the boxial dimension. Let us remove it from the boxial dimension. Get out of here. Boxial dimension. And there we have it. And it's the same Cybertronian scene with explosions and things and stuff. Studio Series 82 Transformers Bumblebee Movie logo. And we we'll take Mr. Ratchet, plop him down. And there we have a display. Hooray for displays.
So there you have Ratchet, and yeah, I quite like him. The robot mode looks good, the alt mode looks good, the transformation has some nice little tricks to it. Um, it's smooth, fluid, enjoyable. Overall, a nicely done figure as far as I'm concerned. Filling out those Bumblebee movie ranks, and I do quite like them, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Ratchet. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Come on, Ratchet, just get me over this hill. Dang it, Braun! I'm a doctor, not a forklift! Oh, you are not a forklift. You're an Uber. What's an Uber?